Mine too. Welcome back. Um, today is thirteen dash one. We start a new chapter, and this is where everybody starts freaking out. The kids are like, "I'm freaking out, man! I'm freaking out!" Uh, equivalent fractions. I love teaching this. It's a piece of cake. Um, I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's challenging, but not too bad. Um, you guys are super multipliers, so. You'll be totally fine. Um, it might take one or two days to figure it out, but don't worry, uh, you'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna send your parents a little bit chart um, to help you out with this, but um, I think you're gonna get it. And you just, this is cool, because you're gonna use your multiplication skills to make it much easier um, when we do it, all right? So let's warm up with our multiplication. Speaking of multiplication, let's go by twos, ready? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Let's go by threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. Now we don't count anymore. 33, 36, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Now we have 44, 48, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 6, 12, 18. 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, 72, 7, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63. Now we know them as well as 70, 77, 84, 8 and 8 are 16, 24 and 32, 40, 48, 56, 64 and 72, 80, 88, 96. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, 99, 108. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Let's go 11s. 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 110, 121, 132. And 12s, the 12s today, let's go out to the Reyes brothers, all right? I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I hope all is good. Keep up the good work. You guys are doing awesome. Let's go 12s. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96, 108, 120, 32 here, 144 there. Here's a 12, there's a 12. Now we know where time is 12. Old Mick had a farm. E I E I O. All right, guys, so looking at 13-1, part one, there's three main things you need to be able to do. We're going to be looking at holes, equivalent fractions using pictures, and equivalent fractions using no pictures, just math. Okay? Okie dokie. So, holes are equal. It's funny, this is the thing I always tell you guys about, like, Pam, right? If... She takes like um, a rainbow cookie cake, right? And she cuts it into 10 pieces and then eats each one. So she eats 10 tenths. She's like, well, I only ate tenths. And I'm like, but you ate 10 tenths. It's the whole thing. It's the same thing. Um, so holes are always going to be equal. Okay. So let me explain a little more. Let me get out of the way and I'll show you. So if I have one hole, right? Imagine this is one hole, right? We could write call it one hole. And I have the whole thing. Or what if I was too big so I wanted to cut it into halves? And I had two halves. Isn't that the same as one hole? Or say I wanted to cut it into fourths. And I had four fourths. I still ate the whole thing. Or what if I wanted to cut it into eighths? And I ate all of them. Eight eighths. So if the numerator and the denominator are the same, halves, fourths, eighths, if they're the same, it's still the same thing as one whole. Or like three thirds or five fifths or six sixths or seven sevenths or nine ninths if you have the same number on the top and the bottom it's just the same thing as one whole let me show you something 
So I'm going to be giving you guys, I'm, I'm gonna send home a piece of paper, well, a picture of a piece of paper that looks just like this, okay? So you see how if you had thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds, and you had all three, it would be the same as one whole. Or if you had two halves, it would be the same as one whole. Or if I had one, two, three, four fourths, it's the same as one whole. So where you can use this chart, um, I'm gonna send it to your parents on the remind. Uh, just have them look at that and that will help you. Now, the next one they're gonna do is there's gonna be a couple questions with pictures. And they're gonna say, you know, how many of these equal these? So something like this. Say I had a fraction like this, it was two thirds. And they said, okay, how many sixths would be equal to two thirds? So basically what you would need to do is just make sure the picture looks the same. So you see how this is the same as this? So two thirds would be the same amount filled as four sixths, okay? Two thirds would be the same as four sixths. And if you check on the little chart here, if you can see, hold it straight, one, two thirds would be the same as one, two, three, four, six. It falls right in the same spot on the chart, okay? Or say I had this one, and I filled in one fourth. And I said, okay, well, how many of these eighths would I need to fill in? So we just have to look in the same spot and see, is one the same? No, nah, it looks a little too small. Does two look like the same? Yeah, that looks like the same piece. So it's gonna be two eighths. And it's a good way to think about it is like with your little brother or sister, like if they're having a, a piece of pizza, they might cut it in half and have two halves of the slice of pizza, but that would be the same as one whole. Okay, or check out this one. Say I had one, two fourths colored in. How many eighths would I need to color in? Well, I'd say, hmm, does that look the same? No, I need more. So I call it, does that look the same? That looks pretty good to me. So four out of eight would be the same as two out of four. It's just got an extra slice in it okay now this is the part where everybody always freaks out they're like i'm freaking out man help well don't you got it watch you're going to use your multiplication skills to do something that we call cross multiply so i like to call it argyle socks kind of like you know your dad's your mom's socks look like this you see how it's got like a little bit of a X on it? These are called like Argyle socks, okay? So what happens is they say one half equals how many fourths? And you're like, I don't know how many halves equal fourths and there's no picture, what do I gotta do? Well, this is the part where you do the Argyle socks. Let me show you. You multiply the numerator over here times the denominator over here. So one times four is four. And then you go over here and you say, okay, two times something is four. You have to make it the same number. So just count by twos, two, four. So if I put a two up there, two times two is four. And one times four is four. So they would be equal. Miss that? Let me show you again. Ready? So if I want to know two thirds is how many sixths, I just multiply two times six, six, 12, and then go over here. Three times what is 12? Count by three. Three, six, nine, 12. Four times three is 12. And 12 equals 12. So two thirds equals four sixths. Mm -hmm. We're just using our multiplication, so watch. Multiply across, 
Now I would highly suggest um, having a piece of uh, scrap paper for this lesson to do your work on just to make sure all the math makes sense. But since you guys are such good multipliers, you should be able to handle this, no problem. One times 12 is 12. And I say, okay, four times what is 12? Count by four. Four, eight, 12. Three times four is 12. So three twelfths would be the same as one fourth. Or what if it said we were missing a denominator? Hmm, well, two times something, let's see. One times eight, just go across. One times eight is eight. So two times what is eight? Count by two. Two, four, six, eight. So two eighths equals one fourth, okay? Now, also, you could prove your answers on here. Is two fourths equal to four eighths? Or is it two eighths? Sorry. Is two eighths equal to one fourth? See, there's one fourth. There's two eighths. It's the same size. So, sure, it works. So, you can use this to help you out. Now, let me do a couple more. Oh, we did these before. So, let's do those. See if we got them right. Are these equal? Let's see. Two times six, so numerator times denominator, six, 12. Four times three, four, eight, 12. 12 is 12, we're good. Check out this one. One times eight is eight. Two, go across, two times four is eight. Eight equals eight. Woo or check out this, two times eight, eight and eight are 16. I'm cool, cross the other way, four by four, four, eight, 12, 16. 16 equals 16. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering, what if it wasn't equal, what would happen? Well, let me show you, say I had, let me find some room. Say I had to do one that was like uh, two, fifths equals um, three sixths. Is that true? And then if it wasn't true, it would be like two times six is 12, five times three, five, 10, 15. 15 does not equal 12, so those are not equal. So today, big things. Holes equal holes, so if they're like two halves is how many fourths? Well, it's four fourths, so two halves is how many eighths? Well, it's eight eighths. Um, if they give you pictures, just read the pictures. If they don't give the pictures, you just cross multiply, like make an X and find the number that's missing. It's kind of like blank times two is four. Just go by twos. You got it, all right? Rock this out. You guys are doing awesome. Keep up the good work. Shoot me any questions tomorrow. You'll be fine. And um, have a good day. Bye-bye.